Good afternoon, everyone. It's J July 14th, Friday, and this is Reverend Priestess Callister, and I will be performing the reading of the day. Okay, so first we're going to start with the spiritual deck to find out what the spiritual vibration is. Okay, so the first card deals with the Ajay spirits. These are the spirits of the, the women of the marketplace. Um, it talks about one being concerned with how you're making money in the marketplace or expanding the way that you're making money in the, work, in the marketplace. But what's acting on this is a gentleman that could help or a male energy that could help where there could be also a love interest involved, okay? And the obstacle, a challenge that you're going to face here is being a healer. And healing could be anything from counseling, spiritualist, speaker, reader, uh, journalist, anything like that. So what they're saying so far is, is, okay, yes, you are concerned with how you're making money in the workplace. And there may be an energy, a male energy, that may be trying to help you or assist you in some way. But this connection with the male energy could bring about a difficulty in you doing your work effectively, okay? And it's saying here, the outcome speaks of happiness, okay? And it also speaks of a negative male energy, okay? So, so from what I'm seeing here, it's like, yes, this person may be willing to help you in the beginning. Um, you overcome the issue of the love or, or your work and you do your work and you become happy in that situation and then maybe this male energy that started out as positive becomes negative or you deal with an energy that is negative but for the most part it's letting you know that you will have ups and downs and you will have to make decisions about how serious you are with what it is that you do what your craft is you may have an opportunity and yes it may come by someone admiring you in the beginning, but sometimes people become intimidated and you may move a little faster than they expect you to and then they feel a little threatened. So they're saying that beware of you know, expanding only on the efforts of someone helping you. Always have your plan B, okay? But I'm not seeing it being bad if you do that, okay? All right, so let's see what the Tarot has to say. And for some reason, I'm feeling a really strong um, pull here with a music career or something with music or a creative field, okay? All right, it's talking about having a lot of hopes and dreams about something to manifest, and it doesn't turn out the way that you want regarding expanding with work, okay? It's, it's, it matches. Obstacle or challenge is a love affair. Exactly what the spiritual cards are saying, Okay. Yes, you may have a lot of hopes and dreams about something that could happen and it may happen, but then in the long run, the love affair is going to become a problem in some way, okay? Foundation speaks of the devil card, a relationship that takes a lot of energy from you and it gives you nothing back. Maybe the person feels a sense of control, you know, because they've brought you new opportunities, okay, with work that you may be successful with. And above, I could see this affecting the family in a positive way or something where children could be involved. But here again, it speaks of two people not seeing eye to eye and someone not truly expressing what they feel or a creative feel affecting a family situation. Okay, this is what I'm looking at. Again, it speaks of a gentleman trying to keep his head above water emotionally or going through a difficult time. This could be a male energy of someone close to the age of 40 or older, or it could be a male, an actual male the age close to 40 or older. If not, they will have the energy of that person. This person is concerned with holding on to a family situation or being secure in a family situation. And their hope or fear is advancement or movement. So this could be a mate being very um, possessive or um, concerned about 
uh, their mate being successful and not being attached to the home the way they should be. And then the end of the reading speaks of the moon, which means this, it could mean deception. It could mean needing to make voluntary changes in order for things to move forward. So if you started out together trying a creative venture and you're moving forward with it and this person becomes maybe intimidated by it, then you, or it doesn't have to be creative. It could be a business. It could be anything. But I'm just feeling the pull of creativity. Um, but don't rule out anything else, okay? But the fact is, is that you have help in the beginning. You start to move forward. Um, things may not be as happy as they were because people may feel threatened uh, by your success, okay? It says here, it says be aware. It says success and family must be prioritized it says and compromise is imperative if relationships are to endure period Okay, so the board is confirming what the tarot is saying and the tarot is confirming what the spiritual cards are saying, okay? There can be success, but at a cost. And if the compromise is not there, then one thing is going to have to take precedent over the other thing. Okay, so that is the reading for the day. And I ask that you subscribe and like the video. I thank you so much for joining me. And please feel free to schedule your own private readings at thepriestess.net. That's T-H-E-P-R-I-E-S-T-E-S-S dot -E -E -S -S net. And I thank you for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow for the reading of the day. Have a great one.